Hello guys, welcome to the next video in the Spy Cute series. In this video we're gonna go over calendars and the queue date last. Um, first off, I created a new folder in our workspace, dates and calendars. So let's hop on over to the designer. Let's create a new... I'm gonna create a new queue widget again. Just close this old stuff. Okay, and then from here we're gonna grab the calendar calendar widgets and the date edit widget and as always we're gonna put on a layout on the form let's do a vertical layout and there you go we're gonna save this we're gonna save this in our workspace under dates and calendars and I'm gonna call this date all right, and let's save that. All right, let's quickly do the conversion file. Date calendar dot cmd. We're going to edit this, and as always, Python using interface convert five. The target file is the calendar one dot UI and the output file is gonna be dot BYW. Save that, let's run it, and there's our view. Um I'm gonna open up my charm, let's start a new project. Uh, in here we're gonna make the project location this folder we're working in make sure that interpreter is existing one great and, uh, open in a new window all right and there we go so the calendar if you run it it's always a good idea to check if a code runs so there you go there you got your calendar and at the bottom we got a date edit Alright, so let's set up our controller. So first I'm gonna go back to the workspace folder, create a new text document. I'm gonna call this date calendar dot py. I only the prefixes of controller, I forgot. See it. And I'm quickly going to rename these few files to view, or prefix them with view. Alright, there I've renamed it. I also need to open up the batch file and rename everything in here. Alright, and that should do it. Let's close this, let's open up our controller. And let's quickly write the skeleton for this controller and get it up and running. So first I'm going to do from PyQt5 import kit widgets. Next up we're going to import the view, view date calendar. Then we're going to create the controller class. I'm um, going to call this controller date calendar. We're going to inherit from Qt widgets. And we're going to define our, our constructor or our init class. Parent equals none. Then we need to call Qt widgets dot Q widgets constructor for its init class. Make sure you spell that correctly. Um, parent. So we're passing this form and the parent variable. Then we need to set up the user interface. So this is going to be the view file. And we're going to look for a class on that file. That's going to be the user in the UI form. It's a class, so we need to put in the brackets. And then we need to execute the setup method. Alright, this we've been doing for all the projects. So by now, 
you should understand or know what to expect. So if name equals equals main then run this application. So we're gonna create the application uh, well first I need to import system. Then I need to create a cute widgets.q application system.argument value. Next up we need to create the controller class or instance of the controller class. Then we need to show that class. And finally we need to do system.exit.argument. Um, Oh, sorry, app dot execute with the underscore. Okay, and if I run this, hopefully everything is fine. No, oh, and I forgot the self. I always forget the self parameter here. And we need to fix this typo in it, and there we go. There's this underscore missing. Right, and that should run. Okay, and there is our app. The only thing left to do now is to link the calendar and the date edits. Alright, to do that, we're going to go into the init class. And we're going to connect to the calendar signal. Dot UI dot calendar widget. Dot selected date so once we've selected the date we want to connect that action to a method called self dot let's say calendar date changed all right let's implement this method I'm gonna copy it and let's define the methods This is going to be very simple. Every time the calendar's date changes, our calendar or our date edits must update. Let's write self.ui.dateEdit dot set date. And we're going to set the date to the calendar selected date. So self.ui dot calendar widget dot selected date okay let's see if that works sorry this would be selection change not selected date selection changed what Alright, so now if we change the selection, you can see the dates edit below updates. Okay, the calendar is now collected, connected to the date edit. If you want to do the inverse, if you want this, if you update this to show here and top on the calendar, let's go proceed to do that. So first we need to connect to the date edit signal. Alright, so let's do self dot date uh, dot user interface dot date edit dot let's see a date changed. So the moment that date changed we wanna connect and we're gonna connect to self dot um date edit changed. Alright, so let's copy that and implement that method. Okay, so in here we want the calendar widget to update. So self dot weird at calendar widget dot we need to set selected date. There it is at the top. And we want the date in the date edit. Self dot use interface dot date edit dot Okay, that should do the trick. 
All right. So there it updates the date edit below. And if I change the date here, there it updates the calendar. All right, this concludes this video and I hope you found it useful. Um, I hope to see you in the next video.